everyone, Lewis here, and welcome to a new episode of Autism Talk. There's a side to me I want to talk about. As you all know, I'm autistic. My case is mild, also known as Asperger's Syndrome. Today I'll be reviewing the 2017 version of the Power Rangers movie. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel. Especially those with disabilities similar to mine. This video is inspired by my love for the Power Rangers and its source material from Japan, Super Sentai. Today I'll be talking about the 2017 version of Billy Cranston, the Blue Ranger, played by actor R.J. Seiler. When I first seen this movie in 2017 with my sister, this version of Billy talked about how he's on the spectrum. Like his mainstream counterpart, he's a nerd and the genius of the team. Unlike Billy from the TV series and the 1995 Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie played by David Yost, this version is autistic. Even though R.J. Seiler himself is an autistic He's just playing the role of an autistic character. This version of Billy gets bullied a lot, just like his mainstream counterpart. Not just for being a nerd like, like the original, but also because of his autism. Which of course, I can relate to that. He ends up meeting Jason, Kimberly, Trini, and Zach in detention at school. At first he has a lack of confidence in social interactions until after he met Jason and the others he's able to overcome that and over time Billy is heroic throughout the film even sacrificing himself as Rita Repulsa drowns him as he refuses to give up the location of the Zeo Crystal and then later is revived by Zordon. Billy is the first ranger of the team to discover that he has the power to morph into a ranger and because of him the other four rangers are also able to morph and they would later go on to defeat Rita and Goldar to not only save the city of Angel Grove but the world from her evil plans. My thoughts on this film is that I like how the Power Rangers franchise brought the very first autistic Power Ranger into the franchise as a whole. The moment I seen this movie and the moment that Billy said he's on the spectrum made me feel happy and proud that someone on the spectrum is representing people like myself in one of my favorite franchises that I watched growing up as a kid. And like this version of B Billy, I've also been bullied. I've also sometimes, you know, struggled to know which is a joke and which isn't. And even sometimes had, had social interaction struggles as well of my own. In the end, Saban and Lionsgate did a good job in making Billy what he is and that this version of Billy means to me what it, what I mean what it means to me as a Power Rangers fan and someone on the spectrum to, to have someone get represented in one of my favorite franchises of all time I hope Hasbro, who now owns the Power Rangers, will eventually bring someone on the spectrum into the TV series down the road. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Twitch. And remember, it's time for adventure. Also, when heading out, wear a mask in public indoor settings. Practice social distancing. Carry hand sanitizer with you. 
Most importantly, get vaccinated. And lastly, stay safe, stay healthy, and together we are finally getting through these dark times together, but we're not out of the woods just yet.